ninth, lower third show up? Uh, it's not right now. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, hi, everyone. This is Brad Cummings from Board Game Geek. I'm here with Aldi, uh, the founder of Board Game Geek. How are you doing tonight? Great. I made it this week. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that confusion last week. Little time um, zone confusion from uh, last week. <laughs> Yeah, I wish wish I was on the West Coast. That'd be nice. Um, but yeah, so we are going to play just a couple uh, smaller games tonight, games that I should have had reviews out for already, but they will be out pretty soon. Um, first, we're going to start with Six Nymphed. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, and then we will play Damn Little Town, which is a little Carcassonne variant that's pretty funny. Um, and... Uh, this time, if you want to ask us questions, uh, you can uh, get us on Twitter. We're watching the uh, at Board Game Geek Twitter as well as the um, at iOS Board Games Twitter. Uh, so anything you want to ask us, just go for it. Anything else I missed? Sounds good. Sounds good? All right. <laughs> okay, so I will get Six Nymphs going now. I wonder if it will make my, little, my lower... Th- Third go away. It does. Okay. Might. Yep. Awesome. All right. So this is the splash screen. Doesn't really have a title on it, but <laughs> the uh, bullhead. So you can do pass and play, uh, or you can do um, yeah, single player. And then they also have, I guess, the long and short game. Um, I've never played this on the tabletop, but basically mm-hmm. there's. The long game is you play a series of rounds, so you play like four oh, right. rounds. Right. I think it's the first person to get to some high score, and they automatically lose, and then you pick a winner, I think is how it works. Right, but... lowest score wins in, in six nymphs, as I recall. It's been a while. Right. And so you can pick your color. It's pretty cool. Any choice in color? Blue. Blue? All right. That's what I play with, too, usually. Yeah, unfortunately, everybody plays with blue, so... <laughs> I've been trying to get on a black color, but... Black's not in every game, so... It's true, it's not as common. We were playing Concordia, uh, not last weekend, weekend before or something, and, uh, and other, someone else was playing Blue, and it just messed... I mean, every time, <laughs> I'm going to Blue. You look at the board and... Yeah, I look at the board, and I'm like, oh, wow, I'm really all over the place. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so, yeah, um, the way this game works... Uh, Scott, you probably know it a little better than I do, but... Yep. Um, Basically, there's four cards on the table, um, and each turn you're playing a card, and it has to go in one in front of in front of one of these cards that are on the table, and it'll go in front of the one that it's closest to in number. Um, and if there are ever five in a certain row of cards, the sixth card will kind of make it bust, and you have to take all of the uh, previous five cards. Right. So I don't know if you can see my cards very well. Um, I can see the tops of them. Yeah, so you can kind of push them up right. one by one. Uh, any any top, strategies top to this? Head right there. Any strategies? Um, don't take the last card in a row. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's pretty light, I guess. Um, so um, you well, you have 81 and 82, right? So uh, those are... I, I recall that being close together is good sometimes. Because then you know that you're going to be next. Play the 82. Maybe we Although if play... somebody plays over it, right. then you can play it. So, yeah, it's... That's true. So maybe 14? Does that sound like a good start? Sure. All right. Easy. Yeah. I, I think this game has a lot of luck in it, but I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is a... Especially with a five-player game. Oof. Yeah. See how you're 14? Yep. Yeah, we're going to bust it on the first turn. Yep. <laughs> Luckily, it wasn't you. So 23 might be good. Because there's a max of 19, 20, 21, 22. So it could be potentially the sixth card, but they would have to have every other single card in between. So maybe we'll go with that? Sure. All right. Oh, and they did have quite a few of them. Oh. But <laughs> Uh, you're you're good though. Yeah, this time looks like thirty-six. Hmm. Forty-six maybe. Forty-six looks good. Okay. Yeah. And this game does have a cool three D. Oh, neat. 
table feature, which I, I think gives it a little bit more you know, dynamic look. Yeah, it gives it. Okay. I definitely want to stay away from that row since it's got a double bullhead on there. <clears throat> Oof. X. Oh. <laughs> okay, so now, uh, we're little, now we're in a little pickle. Yeah. Could go fifty. Oh, if that doesn't work, fifty-six does not work. No, it could go on the top of the thirty-six, but sixty-four. Yeah. Fifty-six would have to go in the first row. Right. Sixty-four has a little better of a shot, maybe, of getting through. All right, let's try that. Yes, it's a pretty unused range so far, though, so it may. Yeah. Of course, as you say that, it'll all be dry. everybody <laughs> goes down there. There, yeah, right. sixty, sixty-one. Oh, well, still made it. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're set up to play our 75, which is... Oh, perfect. Good. Yep. So we know that one will go down. You know that's going to go. So I feel like one strategy is if you're going to have to bust, make sure you're putting down a huge, like, multiple bullhead card that you're Poison. busting with, because then you don't have to take it, and someone else... It becomes the first card of the new stack. Oh, the one that t the one that goes over? Yeah. Okay, now... Now we are in trouble. <laughs> now it's dicey. Ugh. I mean, 56 is it, right? It's the best shot. That's what it looks like. <laughs> okay. Oh, they all went high. Oh. Yeah, we're going to bust that okay. one. So we're going to yep. take five points. Yep. Oh, boy. <laughs> <sighs> oh, man. So I guess we just got to go 71. I don't see a lot of Yeah, options. that seems probably best play. <laughs> so I've heard a lot of good things about this game. I could see it being like a... It's a fun game. I mean, because it, you it's always unpredictable, right? It's right. You think you're going to get not take, and then you take. <laughs> and then it's like, uh, you know, the yelling and screaming, oh, no, we're in trouble. <laughs> right. It doesn't... We're going to take... You want to take the top row? You don't want that three-pointer. 81-82 oh, wow. goes on the 29 line. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. So we don't want that. 94 will take the top row. But do we think, I mean, with 81, do we think we might be the second one to take that one? Oh, yeah, maybe. Someone else, 81 and 82 are pretty high, so maybe... Someone will bust that 29. Someone will bust line. before that. So, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, we'll try Looks like yellow's going to win, unless they... Yeah, hopefully he takes it right now. Oh, 80. He does. 80, he takes it. Yep. Actually, 54 will take it, I think. Which yes. is kind of a bummer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think you can be the one that wins just by being in that right turn order at the right yeah, time. Yeah, it's, it's got a little bit of a luck of the thing, especially with five players. Yeah. So many cards come out in one turn, it's just a... Uh... Yeah, I guess I've tried with Fury. Yeah, it is a little... You do have a little more control for what's going on. I like the... Um, you know, it's, it's pretty basic design, but I like the... Uh, looks, like we, it looks like we might win. Uh, no, we're, yep. we'll have 10, because we have to take... No, no, 94 is good. a good play now. Well, there's a 93 up top. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we lose. Yep. But we yep. won't get last place. guaranteed to take that place. Well, I guess the one way we couldn't have it if someone oh. like that, but yeah, it's still gonna go up top. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, last turn. Oh, I guess I left it on the long game. Whoops. Oh, well, you know, play another round. All right. Make a comeback. Yeah, that's right. Let me check Twitter and see if there's anything you can tweet us at Board Game Geek or iOS Board Games. Are you checking that one? Uh, I am now. Tweet at Board Game Geek. Uh, I am. Yep. Yeah, Board Game Geek's good too. Um, I also have the Twitter comments up and the. Uh... Yeah. The comment tracker. Yeah, the comment tracker as well. I'm not seeing anything. Alrighty. Um. Okay. Next round. Yeah, the comment tracker. I don't know. Doesn't seem to be. Anyway, try to. We'll try it next time. All right. So. Looks like 60 is pretty fair, but we will almost 
certainly get trampled on top of, but that's where we got to go. So did you see the awesome Google Cardboard? No. That came out yesterday? <laughs> I, I've been in a cave. What, what happened? Uh, so Google's... Uh, it's Google I.O. It's their press conference of the year, and they oh, right. you know, announce all their things. And one of the last thing at the end was uh, Google Cardboard. It's basically <laughs> a cardboard, like, almost like a, it makes a visor that is a 3D, you know, that you put with your phone in. You, so you, you fold it up. It's cardboard, right? It's got two lenses for eye, where your eyes go. Okay. And it does like this 3D projection, like a Viewmaster. Remember the Viewmasters? Yeah. With your iPhone. <laughs> so it's kind of like a poor man's Oculus Rift. Oh, gosh. So you stick your phone in there, and you put the thing... It's, it's made of cardboard, and it's got two lenses. <laughs> and it, it's kind of a virtual reality thing. So when you... It, it does head tracking, too, right? Because the phone can can know what right. uh, you know what's going on. So... Uh, it's a uh, it's an interesting little thing. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure. I, I'm, it must have been somebody's side project, right? Right, because don't they they still do that thing where you do eighty percent time or whatever? Yeah, the eighty percent time thing. And they do that that one section that's like uh, you get that time each day. Kind of just try something crazy. Yeah, twenty percent well, time. I think that's I just what I would interviews. work on if I was a Googler and I had twenty percent time. <laughs> Probably be a board game app, <laughs> right? <laughs> I would make I would make the online board game thing that plays you know any game, <laughs> right? Like the the toolbox. Oh right. Where you could create. In fact, it might even be a good Google a Google Hangout project. Oh yeah, that's a good Play idea. board games in Google Hangout. That would like be def- awesome. Define some rules. Yeah, and there's stuff. some RPGs. You know, there's RPG tools and stuff. Right. What about making the Google Doodle a game? Ooh, we just got saved. Oh. Are you still scoreless? Oh, you have minus 10. Oh, that's from previous uh, round. From, yeah, so it kind of carries over. Yeah. We won't play the whole thing. But uh, it's pretty... Um, still not looking great here. Uh, 19, maybe? It's really our only not take option. Currently. Yeah, uh, or might is it the same or, just to play the twenty two? Is ninety three and ninety four? Yeah, you don't want to do the ninety five because you'll probably take. Right. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe twenty. Well, what's I mean? There's mm-hmm. two between nineteen and twenty two. There's a lot of space between thirteen and twenty two. Yeah. Ooh. 19. I go nineteen. I think nineteen is a safe play. All right. So is this game like ten years old, maybe? Uh, I will check. There's Whoa. this website out there. Yeah, boardgamegeek.com. The uh, <laughs> dates of games when they're first published. Pretty, pretty useful. I've never heard of it before. Yeah, it's this board game site called Board Game Geek. It's been around for um, fourteen years. Oh wow. <laughs> fourteen years. That is a long. Longer that is... than Facebook and Google and. Okay, Six Nymphed came out in. 1994, 10 years. Oh, wow. Or, no, that's longer. Can't do math. That's 20 years. Oh, wow. That's a long time. It was uh, also called Category 5. Okay. That's, the, like, the English version. Not six takes as it is in the App Store right now? Uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of alternate names here. Okay. Um, I'm not going to go through them all because they're all unpronounceable to me because I don't know the language is. But there's a take five and there's a tag six and a take six. <laughs> uh, you know, there also is a Walking Dead card game which has re-implemented this, which I would, I'm kind of curious to try it. Um, hmm. I'm going to have to get that. It's a cryptozoic. Oh, okay. Uh, it's kind of a re-theme of Six Nymphed. But oh, crap. Has... I just took something, sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I know. I'm reading... Yeah, no, um, that's funny. I was actually playing the Walking Dead game today on the train home. I'm kind of behind the times there, but I've been trying to play through it. Oh, the... Uh, the story-based game? The RPG, or uh, adventure game. Yeah. Cool. 
it's I mean it's quite engrossing. I don't know. It's well written. All those all those good things. <laughs> Come on, guys. We need comments. We are live, right? Okay, just checking. We are. Cool. Yep. <laughs> Our massive audience. Come on, we have 20,000 Twitter. F we actually hit 22,000, 21,000 today. What was it? Uh, oh, wow. 21,000 Twitter followers today. That's pretty amazing. That's like 1,000 in like under a month, maybe less than like two weeks. Oh, wow. I think we just passed 20,000 recently. So. <laughs> Twitter is, you know, Facebook... Uh, we put so much work into the Facebook stuff, and it's like it doesn't go out to everybody that likes us. I hate that. Right. The organic Facebook is dead. Organic uh, right. posts, you know. Like people who fan you or like you don't get the posts. Yep. I think Twitter is going to beat them as far as brand uh, interactions. Well, yeah, and just right. in... Maybe a message. No. No. Ah. A favorite. I need to, uh, I guess I need to make sure I have codes next time. Sorry, guys. My bad day. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, we could give out a copy of the game. What? What is the uh, What is the price tag of 6 Nymphed? Oh, that is a good question. Let me look it up right now. It is... Uh, oh, I, asked, I need to look up in US dollars. It's... 179 euros, which I guess is three dollars. So is that a like three bucks US? Two dollars. Two dollars. It's two dollars US. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm authorizing ten dollars in advertising credit right. for six nymphs. All right. So five. Gifts. Five copies. We will gift five copies away <laughs> to people that tweet us questions only. At okay. Board Geek. You have to give us a real question. <laughs> five. <laughs> Copies. That is uh, something we need to take advantage of. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna leave you up to figuring out who to get. How to do that? All right, I will cool. do that. Because I have never. I think I've I've never. You can gift games to people, right? You can. Yep. I'll need okay. an email address, but I'll figure out how to get it. Okay. From cool. them. Yeah. yeah uh, okay. Let me just. I'm just gonna check to see if we have anything on Board Game Geek. Um, should we play another round of Six Nymph or? What do you? Uh, Town, little town. What else? How long is that other game take? Uh, it's pretty quick too. There, it's kind of. Uh, how many? What? Finish this out. I want to see if we can make a comeback here. All right. All right. See if we can beat orange. That ugly orange <laughs> color. <laughs> uh, sixty-four is not a bad play. Sixteen isn't terrible. Yeah. I'm assuming like I'm with like, all that low stuff, yeah. we want to get rid of low stuff while we can. Well, you have to play low stuff first, right? So it plays okay. first. I don't know. I you know I don't know I don't know six nymph well enough to know if there's actually a winning strategy. <laughs> I well, figure you just try to make your best play every time, and then if somebody uh, does better than you for you, it's like well, really nothing you could have done about it. You chose right. wrong, <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, yeah, exactly. You just guess. It's just wrong. a fun thing. Like it's a BS game. It's a beer and pretzels game. This is a fair. Right. Now there was another six nymph game. Oh, I, I, the six nymph isn't there a board brand game? runs deep in uh, the German world. There was another one. Uh, was it Tonster Hornoxen? Let me look. It was just Hornoxen. I'm gonna look it up. I don't know if you've ever heard of those. I, <laughs> I have to be honest. My uh... oh, Hornoxen is take six. Um, okay. Five. But there was another one. All right. Is there a six nymph family? There's got to well, be. Six I just got a prize. Uh, thank you, Board Game Geek, for the six nymph family. I can find the other game. So, Tonster Hornoxen is a board game version of of Hornoxen, which I love, and it never. I don't think it ever got an English release. Okay. But it's a board game version of the of the card game, and it's got a lot. It's got a lot of fun, little kind of interesting stuff, and then you you're trying to avoid. The crap, <laughs> right? It's poop. You're trying not to try not to get into. And uh, I just really—it's a tile game. It has these really nice tiles, and you're you know. I just remember really liking. It had a couple really interesting plays. Um, I need to bust it out again and try it again and see if I still like it. So it's kind of like this mechanic, but with more going on. Yeah, it, it's a tile lane game. I wish I could put pictures up on the screen here, but I can't really do it. But um. Oh man. 
it, <laughs> it was tiles. It was tile numbers one to you know whatever, and sort of the same thing. But when you played, there were certain trigger points on the board where you, if you hit the poop, you would take points, <laughs> or or take the last. And the rows were variable. Like so, imagine right. a board of a grid, and in the first row it was only the third tile took, the fourth tile took. So you'd play three tiles, and then the fourth one took the whole row. But you would take five points instead of the whole row. I don't know if that makes sense. It's hard to explain yeah. without the screenshot. And then there was other things where you would, like, draw more tiles, or you would, like, lose points where you'd go backwards, so you really wanted to play there. Like, you know, imagine, like, there'd be action spaces on the board. Okay. And variable amounts of points that you would take each turn. So, and, you know, basically you play till someone falls in the big pile of poop at the end of the board, 60 <laughs> points. Basically play to get somebody, somebody to take 60 points. Really fun game. I was highly, fu if, I, I mean, I don't know if it's available. It's in the marketplace. It doesn't look cheap, unfortunately. But it's fun. Maybe uh, it's a reprint candidate? <laughs> I don't know if it ever came out in, in English. Tons of, oh. I, I don't see an English version. I see only Amigo. Anyway, um... It was a Spiel des Jahres recommended in 2005. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, okay, well. now I'm going to try to find the Six Nymphed game that had that was very hard to play. <laughs> it was so difficult. So you go from this uber light game to a really hard game, and I cannot remember the name of it. Uh, but it was like a Six Nymphed type game. It was... I'm not finding it. Let me, uh, I think it was Wolfgang Kramer. Mm. Check him. Might be able to find it. So uh, things have gone from bad to worse for me. In this oh, game. no. I'm, I'm losing pretty badly. Yeah. <laughs> I got caught on a big, a big take that I didn't think I was going to get hit with. And now I'm losing. Okay, first question from Schwan P. Okay. At Schwan P, you have just won a copy of Six Nymphed. Brad, is Six Nymphed good for multiplayer on different iPads? So, it is actually only multiplayer on uh, one iPad, so you have to pass oh, the iPad around. So it's not real-time multiplayer or sync async multiplayer? No, no online it's multiplayer. It's just pass and play. Yep. So that question is not... Well, we're going to give you the copy of the game, of course. <laughs> we can't answer that question because you can't play it on different iPads. Only play it on one. So pass and play, yeah. I don't know. Pass and play with this kind of game, whew, I think it would be slower than actually just playing the card game, like in real life. Yeah. Because you so have too. to basically, yeah, I don't know. I guess you could play... Like everybody playing simultaneously, It's everybody has to take a turn and play, right? Right, right. That slows it down immensely. Not saying I don't I don't appreciate the multiplayer in there, but honestly, I don't think I would ever play it multiplayer on an iPad. Yeah, I mean, I think the major, at least for me, the major use case for that kind of thing is like if you're in a car and you just really want to play something, you know, or or I don't know somewhere where you just can't get the cards on the table. But yeah, definitely, definitely would be slower paced for sure. Yeah, I guess you could play on multiple iPads if you play individual single-player games and then just compare high scores. That might be one way. <laughs> no, that doesn't count. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. I'm going to write down the Twitter handle of the people who uh, win copies of Six Nymphed. Okay. And make sure you, if you would like a copy of Six Nymphed, probably the easiest way. Oh, is make sure to follow us so we can follow you back and then we can DM you. Right, Whatever. exactly. Yep. Right. I think so I'm following Juan P. Juan P. from Newcastle. Hmm. They have good hamburgers. <laughs> well, that's White Castle. Oh, White Castle. <laughs> New South Wales. Uh, <laughs> that would be in I wish, Australia. I wish I was trying to be. I mean, I was trying to be funny, yes. but not as funny as that. Uh, New South Wales in Australia. Awesome. Cool. Hopefully yeah, we, we can give you... Here's another deal. Hopefully we can give you the game through the, I, the iTunes store and it works for you. That, that might be another problem, but we'll see. You know, we'll, we'll figure something out. Yeah, well, we can... Um, you can actually gift it to oh, yourself. Can you give me a code? We'll give code. A code? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And I can actually... I can ask for codes in retrospect. We'll see. 
these guys probably yeah, pretty Juan, cool. Juan followed us. <laughs> awesome. It's an easy way to get followers, right? <laughs> That's right. Give stuff away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're getting some retweets on the iOS one, but no real. Oh, uh, should I check the iOS one? Are you checking? I, I'm checking it too. There's okay, cool. no real comments. Is there anything on the YouTube page? Um, let me check that again. Uh, I don't like the fact that YouTube doesn't allow comments on a live stream of a Hangout. Um, right? They don't, they, right? They I'm can, not. but it kind of takes... You they can, but it's kind of tricky to do. They don't have the chat window. Oh, that's true, yeah. Right. Or do you have to schedule a live stream and then stream to that, and then, you know you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of wacky. Yeah, there's this Q&A tool, uh, Q tool that I haven't really figured out how it works yet. Yeah, I've turned it on a few times. Yeah, for next time. Yeah. I've said, I've said that many times, but I will do it. <laughs> let's see. Okay, I've said it twice, but um, yeah. let's see. Minus 47, Brad. I know. That is not I am, good. I'm in a solid... The high, are you the high scorer right now? I think I'm in oh, second place. Oh, maybe. Not minus 48. You covered up his thing. Hey. Yes, yeah, so I'm right in the middle right now. 50. Okay, you're not quite last. <laughs> you're penultimate right now. Oh, wait, no, 55 is even lower. <laughs> uh, we just need the right people to take some things. All right, let's see. What else you got? Let's see, do we have a new notification here? Okay. Yeah, that's Juan. <laughs> Juan oh, just, just adding in. Join or following. Yeah, we got nothing on YouTube yet. Um, yeah, and I hope some okay, stuff. Okay, here we go. All right. Uh, Ed Holtzman says, "When playing six nymphs, six nymphs against the AI, is it like playing against people that hate you and conspire against you?" <laughs> Is the um, AI pretty good here? It seems like it's okay. I mean, it, I mean, here's the thing. This game is not... Right. Unless I'm mistaken, you pretty <laughs> much try to play your best card. I mean, there might be some deep psychological strategies here that I'm not quite understanding. You know, you know that doesn't... That doesn't mean there's some... Strat not, there doesn't mean there's not strategy here, but it doesn't mean there's a whole lot of strategy. But, right. you know what? I have played Six Nymphs where we try to set people set people up where you basically say, oh, I have the lower number. You know, I can go here, you go here, and I'll go here, and then I'll screw Brad. Right. And I don't know if it does that. Maybe it doesn't. Hopefully it doesn't talk amongst itself behind the scene. I don't think it does. I've never felt like it's unfair, but again, like you're saying, it's so swingy that it's hard to right. really yeah. pinpoint, like, this is where it's messing with me. Or whatever. All right, Ed Holtzman... I are you following us, Ed Holtzman? <laughs> you are following us. I am now following you. So you have won a copy of Sixth Nymph <laughs> for the iPad. You know, um, Brad, I, I didn't tell you, but I switched over to uh, Android. Oh. Yeah. And my gaming on the iPad has kind of taken a dive. I haven't really like pulled it out in a while. Mm. But I used to game on the phone a right. lot. Um, but now I'm not gaming at all on my phone. So, oh, wow. I mean, I'm not, uh, it's just not, I don't know, just not well, the f Yeah, for me on the phone. I mean, the Android gets the games, but it doesn't get nearly the quantity of games. Right. I've just found I'm not, phones. I'm still not sold on the Android yet. I mean, I like it. It's the uh, HTC One um, mm -hmm. M8, the new one. It's got a lovely screen. It's very nice and bright, big, and it takes great pictures and video. Um but there's still some wanky stuff on Android that I just don't understand. Hmm. I have a real hard time getting messages and um, voicemail. It's just ridiculous how how hard it is. That's weird. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Is it's that a model problem. or is it? Uh... It could be me misusing it. You know, with Apple, you really you get spoiled with how easy it is to use. I would never suggest my parents to get an Android phone. <laughs> they would never figure it out. They wouldn't right. use any of it. <laughs> iPhone for sure they can use it, but not not an Android phone. It's way too difficult. Well, that's exactly what we wanted to see. Oh, did that clear you up? Yeah. Yeah. Oof, that was a lot of points right there. <laughs> oh, Pink's still leading though. I didn't. 
I thought it was you, one. You, you got a chance here. You, you're in. You're still within distance of winning. <laughs> it's possible. I'll definitely get my ten down. So that's yeah. Get the ten down course. for sure. <laughs> of course, the fourteen may take it next year. <laughs> oh no, someone else. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. But then I don't know what I play next. <laughs> um. If you're just those... joining us, we are playing six nymphed on iOS. Uh, and um, I'm losing the computer. And you're Violet. you're currently losing. And if you <laughs> ask us a Twitter question, we have three copies that we're giving away. Hey, another question. In the nymphed family, which one would you say is your favorite? Ah, I feel like I can't answer do, that do question. Do you know many? I, well, for me, it's definitely the Tanster Hornoxen game, the board game. <laughs> I feel the board game version has a little bit more strategy than the card game. And that's, this, is, this question is from Carla New, Newware. Sorry for pronunciation. Um, Carla. And those that are um, asking questions of, that we're giving, if you could direct message us an email that you want. Um, yeah, direct message us your email address um, of where you want of your uh, iTunes, uh, where you want your iTunes coupon sent. I'm following each person, basically, too. Okay. So, I'm still in, I, I'm I'm in third place. Your, no, I... I'm still... I still need to look up... So, we have two more copies left. Okay. Um, yeah, I have not played... I've only played this one. So, I'm going to say it's my favorite, since yeah. it's the only one I've played. <laughs> now, there's also... Gosh. Is Take 5 the same game, exactly? I don't know. Is it five know. cards played in the six one takes, or is it four cards played in the fifth one takes? I don't know. I'm looking at it right now. Uh, relying heavily on his previous effort, six nymphed uh, with the fifth card in a set taking the whole thing. So yeah, it's take five is numbered one day with some of the cards having green bullheads. Oh, the the green ones are where you um would lose points. Okay. So I haven't I I have not played that. Oh well, you're playing six. You're playing the one that um has the green bullheads. So you want to take those, right? I thought they were all just negative from my reading of the rules, but I also maybe could have missed something. Maybe we're playing six nymphs, um, straight up. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, are you stuck? Sixteen seventy nine. Uh. Oh. Well, that sucks. I'm guessing 76 is the better bet because there's it's a likelihood that someone else will have yeah, to bust. Yeah, might have to play a lower number. Yeah, it lo it's, it's still not pretty. No. Yeah. <laughs> and I think I'm potentially so, tired. Okay, so oh, this is not the same game. In this game, greens are positive points and reds are negative, as in 6 nymphs. Players are constructing sets of cards with the fifth card in the set, taking the whole thing. This time, however, players take their turn sequentially. Oh. And can play one to three cards from the hands. So I have not played this version that came out in 1998. Huh. And that's interesting because I thought they were all the same. So interesting. That one sounds like it would be a little more, a little more uh, something to it. That does sound because yeah. I do feel about this like sometimes you get to a point where you kind of know how things are going to go down. And yeah. um. How do oh, I goodness, I'm looking through all of Wolfgang Kramer's games. Boy, has he designed a ton of games. <laughs> See if I can find that one I was talking about earlier. That is just a really heavy version of this game. Um, I have moved back into second to last. Uh, uh, that's penul me. penultimate. There, there's, there's some value in pe being penultimate. <laughs> it's more value than... <laughs> More value than being last, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's not quite last. It's penultimate. Um, <laughs> all right, let me look real quick here and see. Maybe you can check for questions. Yeah, I'll take a look. I'm this game because it's driving me nuts to remember what it is. Yeah, so guys, make sure to ask us questions on Twitter, or we're also looking at YouTube comments. But to win a code, you need to ask on Twitter, which is at BoardGameGeek. All one word, no hyphens or anything like that. I'm in the M's. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to kick things up to a PG level with oh, really? Damn Little Town. I don't, think little... You can do... oh, damn. I don't think you can do biblical swear words in a... 
<laughs> in a G-weighted film. I don't know, actually. I have no idea. You probably can't. Um, so this is, a, this is a free-to-play game. Uh, I've paid to unlock the full version. I think it's $2 to unlock. Um, it's not really free-to-play. Can we do five more codes for this game while we're playing? Um, we actually can't gift out... Um, oh, we can't gift out free-to-play? Yeah. Oh, uh, well. So you can't gift out in-app purchases yet. You may at one point be able to, but uh, they've recently allowed EA to give away in-app purchase codes. Hmm. So we'll see if that... Um, Maybe someday. Yeah, I think that's kind of like a micro, you know, small test to kind of see if it works. A small high-volume test. Uh, okay, so I'll start this one while you're... So I'm still looking for that game. Drive me yeah, nuts. It must have come out where, I, where when Six Nymphs came out. <laughs> time frame. I'm going to do the two-person game because I still haven't got the hang of... Oh, I froze it. Whoops. Sorry. Don't know what I did. I'm going to blame that on myself. Uh... Alrighty. Come on. No? <laughs> Alright. Uh, going back to a two-player game is not <laughs> working too well for me here. Uh, start game. Minus, minus. There we go. Okay. <laughs> So you can play two players, you can play four players. Um, so the way game, the game works is you put down, um, you build kind of cities like you do, I mean here they're called buildings like you would at Carcassonne. And when you put one down, you can either put down a guy or not put down a guy. Every time you put down a guy, you're, you gain three points. So you're trying to get all your guys down if you can. Um, can you hear the sound of the game? I'm not sure if it's coming through there or I don't maybe just to me. Myself. Okay, I think it's just to me, so I'm going to turn it off because it's uh, distracting. Um, so, uh, whoa, sorry. So, yeah, uh, what you're trying to do is connect roads to these temples that are in the corners here. Uh, okay. But <laughs> the thing about this game is that, <clears throat> sorry, there's a lot of <laughs> randomness going on. You know, like, you may never get a road to the temple that you happen to have built your cities by or <laughs> that sort of thing. So it's kind of hmm. kind of a toss-up. Um, and you put your guys down, you get points. Um, eventually, the game will kind of change, and they'll start to be uh, monsters that come onto the board, and they will eat your people, um, which can be a problem. All right, what can I do here? I guess go there. Oh man, I see like, you can get situations where you never get a road when you could really use one, or that sort of thing. <laughs> hmm. Which is tricky, but... Uh... And the computer opponent's pretty good. So this is very Carcassonne-y. Very, yeah, very much. Do you score points the same way, or is it... So you only score points by putting down guys. Yeah. Um, you score one point per guy you put down. Uh... uh and then uh, you can score additional points uh, by uh, eating your opponent's pieces later on. Um, okay. One interesting thing is where these fissures appear is where the bad guys are going to come from later on. So it's good to be aware of where you might get eaten. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh Need some more questions here. Oh yeah. I still have two more copies. Or is it two? Is that right? I think you're at two, yeah. Yeah, I have two left. Two I'm copies sure. exempt. Oh, you I have a clear question. Enough. Or you ask us any question, anything about it. it doesn't necessarily have to be about these games. <laughs> Our personal it's lives. About, yeah, uh, well. What I had for dinner. Depends on how much you want to answer that. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I cannot find this damn game. <laughs> a little frustrating because that was one of those 
like you, we like Six Nymph and we got this other game and it's the same kind of thing theme and then it's just a million times harder. <laughs> Can you email? Uh, it might not be game? a Cromer design. Okay. Oh, I have an idea where to look. Let me check something. I'm feeling I'm feeling good about my chances right now. This this game's all about setting up what happens later on, basically. So. Hmm. So there's kind of an advanced forward strategy here. Yeah, I mean, I think it, sometimes I think there's a lot of randomness going on, but uh, it is good to know that you're preparing for you know something. Uh, you're trying to prepare for something. Uh, Coming later on. Okay, so now it's the escape phase of the game. Um, what happens is these monster tiles appear on the board, and each of your turns oh. you get to place a monster tile. Oh, okay. So I, well, I have three to place. Do uh, all do the same thing? Uh, so there's different uh, ones. These kind of can't go into the building. That's why these are my only choice. Um, unless, I think, I forget the whole rules, but uh, there's ones that have S's on them, and they do have the ability to go into buildings. Uh, I want to keep this away from me. I'll go there. And I'll just... So he loses points, each of his guys that I take out. So if you lose a guy, you lose... Um, excuse me, you lose uh, two points. Okay. Um, so you, you kind of... It makes up for the ones that you got. And it costs me more to move through um, my opponent's pieces... Uh, and it kind of has like a survive twist to it. How you're trying to kind of know where the danger is going to be. Oh, he blocked himself off just to hurt me. Crazy mm -hmm. guy. Uh, so we're tied at 35 right now. Let me go there. That one has to go there. Oh, sorry. <laughs> So this guy's in danger, so he's going to run away. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, so it's kind of got these two phases, which are pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, but I, I definitely think it feels pretty swingy to me so far. Um, or maybe the AI is just really good. <laughs> oh, this is not great. So now I want to worry about not just about getting guys in, but about not being eaten, I guess, if that makes sense. So, uh, actually... Moving there. Yeah. Oh, no. Because <laughs> every time I get eaten, I lose points. Yeah. Uh, so I don't, yeah, don't let that happen when I can avoid it. Um. Oh, crap. <laughs> I either have to block myself off or eat my own guys. Two, three. Okay, maybe some stuff on Twitter here. All right. Is this the game? Oh, is this the game? So Carla was wondering if I. Oh, it's the game. That is the that game. Carla is the board game version of funny. Uh, board game version of yeah. This it's six nymphish basically, but it's the board game version. The game mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember is a is a bullhead game that, as I recall, it had like a a wheel or a, a like a. You place the cards in a ring. It's hmm. so funny. So Tonster and Hornoxen translated to Dance of the Idiots <laughs> in uh, Google Translate. <laughs> Auto translated the page. How funny. <laughs> Didn't know that was the... Uh, <laughs> what it was called. So that was a damn little town? It's, oh, uh... you know what? It's just Hornoxen. Oh. Or maybe I'm wrong. What... Is that the one? I'm going to do a four-player game. 
and then we okay. can call it. All right. See what I think. You got anything else on deck, or is that that's it? Well, I had one that I wanted to play, but I'm not sure I have permission to yet. I thought it was coming out this week, uh, so we'll have to wait. I think. Okay. Hornoxen was the game, and it is take five. This is the hardest game I played as the, of this, as I recall. It's the one that's more strategy. Um, okay. Yeah, so it confused me with the take five name, but it's just, I remember playing it as Hornoxen. Mm. And then uh, there's Tonstar Hornoxen, which is the board game, and take five, which is the American version of Hornoxen, which is the harder version of this. Um, very confusing. Um brand management here. Um, <laughs> that's the one with the green bullheads and the red bullheads that I talked about earlier, and that's the one I've played that I did not like at all. It was just too hard for me. Um, okay. Yeah. Anyway, maybe I need to try it again. It's been a long time. <laughs> Do you it have it around ranked, somewhere? It has a pretty decent rank. It's ranked 1441 in the board game rank and 406 family game. So maybe it's not that hard. <laughs> I just remember it being very hard. And That's not fun. that fun. <laughs> hard and not that fun. It's rated weight, weight is 1.5. Maybe I'm misremembering misremember, it, which means medium light. That's a good question. I don't know. I just remember thinking, just having too much brain put power on it. Hmm. The overlooked red-headed sibling of six nymphs. That's what somebody wrote a review. <laughs> Is that the full review? That's the title of the review. Oh, okay. <laughs> get in on that action. So, yeah, you get in some pretty, like, you can just block everyone. Deck 23, deck 22. So oh, that's, that's how many, many cards are left in, tiles are left in the deck? Okay. Yeah. But you can really just get in situations where <laughs> you just, you know... There is nothing, basically. Oh, so uh, all the highlighted ones are where you can place that piece. Right. Okay. But yeah, I think the UI is pretty well done. Uh, here. Looks so pretty nope. straightforward. Don't want to go there. So what are you trying to do right here? You're trying so to get your blue guys? You're trying to place them in such a way that they're kind of far away from these fissures where the monsters are going to appear, and if possible, where they have a path that they can get to the exit from. Okay. So, um... To these these temples in the corners. You know, uh, it kind of reminds me of um, that Pompeii game. Oh yeah, you're right. Actually, this is not exactly. I hope it, this isn't like a, a clone. It's not exactly the same, but it's you know like you're you're putting your guys out on the board and then you're running them away right. from the monsters. Yeah. It reminded me a bit of Survive too, but um, yeah, obviously a little were, more complex. You're deciding where the monsters oh, fall. Great. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, the monsters are not coming. The blue monsters what are going to come that way. What's the little blue and the green and the red? So there's uh, there's four types of monsters. There's bats and skeletons, and those are where they're going to appear. So the okay. tiles will start there. Oh, okay. Um, so basically, my guys are... I was hoping they would be protected, but they're okay. not going to be. So. <laughs> if you were just tuning in, you were taking questions. Um, and we have two copies to give away of Six Nymphed. If you give us a question on Twitter, at BoardGameGeek. And um, That's right. we will send you a copy of Six Nymphed. So, uh, what else have you been playing, Brad? Did you? Uh, we didn't. You know, we were talking about E3 at one point. Did oh you, yeah. Did you follow much of the E3 stuff? Um, I tried to watch most of the press conferences. Uh, yeah. I was, you know, in the office, but trying to keep an eye on them. And I think, yeah, like I really liked. Uh, like No Man's Sky looked really cool. That's one that oh, yeah. everyone's been talking I about. I just wonder what the game is going to be like. I mean, it looks great, but what is the game going to be? I don't know. Those <laughs> always those those tech demos that look like a tech demo to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm being. No, I, I think remember, pretty remember fair. is all smoke and mirrors, man. A lot of smoke and mirrors. Okay, evil is rising. Move to the closest temple. Yeah. So now we got to. Oh, so the it. monsters can only come in at those zones. Right. And then they branch out from there. Or and they... adjacent to another monster. And that's where it smashes you. Oh, right. <laughs> like I just smashed you. So I had a chance to get get away, but... Uh, now you can't get those guys out. Yeah, those well, those guys actually didn't have 
if they don't have a road to their building, oh, they just can't get out. Yeah. Can they be smashed though? They can. So even though they're surrounded points. by walls, um, it will be harder for them to be smashed. I think only uh, I'm forgetting the exact rules, but um, the ones with the S on the S, there's tiles with, that have an S on them. They can go through walls, and then I think if you're they have to have a certain number of that monster on the other sides, and then they can go through the walls. Oh, okay, so they're just so probably screaming so at me. There's sort right of now, good <laughs> defense that can be made. Yeah. Okay. So it's not just about escaping; it's also about, you know, trying to. Uh... So let's see. So I, I think can I have my mechanism set too low in the house. My it's Texas; it's like 90 degrees. My wife is wearing a um, uh, what is that? A Guinness. <laughs> uh, Jacket, you can turn to turn it up. I like it cold. She doesn't like it cold. <laughs> I feel like in Texas you have to have a cold. Man, it's the alternative is just sweating all day. Yeah, I've only been in Texas one time and I was sweating all the time. Well, it's hot. All right, maybe a question. Okay. Uh, oh, no. Come on, guys. <laughs> Oh, one thing we could talk about actually. I just realized. Yeah. Uh, the Steam sale. Have you? Oh yeah, I bought a few things. Um, probably games I will never play. You know what? I wanted to also <laughs> say, I'm very yeah. proud of this. I finished Dark Souls 2. Oh wow! I finished the base game. <laughs> that was a bear. Oh my goodness. So, are you familiar with the Dark Souls franchise? Uh, so I have. Uh, I own Dark Souls 2, and. Okay. Um, but have not uh, played it's it. It's a hard game. It's very hard. Like, the combat is very unforgiving. If you mess up in your combat and you take a hit, you can just be dead and you can start <laughs> over. But the thing that I that helped me a lot was the summoning of other players into the world to help you. So when oh, I played right. Demon Souls or Dark Souls 1, I never summoned anybody. Like, okay. I never asked for help. And I didn't even know you could. I think I think this was a new. It was pretty. You know I think I asked awkward, for help like right? one time in Dark Souls One, but Dar- I definitely didn't do it as much as I did in Dark Souls Two. So I summoned a lot of people, <laughs> but then they've got this limited resource in the game called human effigies, which you burn. Right when you, you lose. Summon people to go human, and right. when you're human, you can summon other people. Oh, okay. So it's. You're hollow when you're... If you've died once, you're hollow. And then you can become human by burning a human effigy. And then you're human. And then you can see all these summon signs all around the world where people, other people and other, you know, humans are putting down their summon sign in their game so that you can summon them to your game. Does that make sense? Yeah, that does. Okay, so you're... Wow, the score is pretty low. Yeah. Wow. I ended up winning... I just want to give this a try. I mean, I'm... It's called uh, what is it called again? Damn little town. So Damn it's little town. <laughs> cool. yeah, I've actually um, only won I think one what, other time. What's the model like? I mean, like, what do you do for, if it's free to play? What do you get? When so you it's play? not. I guess free to play was the wrong phrase. It's kind of freemium, so it's free to download. Free. You can play the two-player game that we played first for free, and then if you want to um, play. Uh, Sorry. Uh, if you want to play this four-player game on the nine by nine grid, you have to pay, I think, two dollars. And then, also, the developer was telling me that the uh, multiplayer update is coming out soon. And if you if you buy the premium version now, if you pay the two dollars, you get like your meeples will look different than everyone else's, and it's like going to be an exclusive thing. So if you're into that sort of first mentality, <laughs> I guess this is jump on now. But it's pretty fun. I enjoy it. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I'm going to actually check this one out. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, so cool. some Steam sale stuff. That has nothing to do with the Steam sale. I, that Dark Souls <laughs> 2. I would highly recommend it. It is a very challenging game, but it's very rewarding as well. Uh, today, I purchased Banished. Okay. Ever seen that city building game? I've heard of it. It's been 20 bucks forever. <laughs> and I was like, it doesn't... I mean, 20 bucks... I don't know why I'm being cheap. I used to be a game developer. 20 bucks is not a lot of money for a game, but I wasn't sure if I really wanted to put 20 into this. For some reason, I kept kept waiting. It is now 50% today, so 9.99. Looks pretty cool. Uh, I also purchased a game called um, 
uh, let me look at my activity here. I can remember the name of it. Fallen Enchantress. Okay. Which is a it's a standalone Before expansion. Action. It's a standalone expansion of Fallen Enchantress, which is a turn-based strategy game in a fantasy world. So okay. kind of like that, you know, lead your units around and dominate the map kind of game. Um, hmm. what else have I bought? EU Too much. is pretty cheap. What's that? E uh, your sorry, your Europa Universalis oh, is yes, you pre and that's a fabulous game. I've I've not put enough time in that. I I want to go back and and play that more. But that game is really cool. I I love those grand that grand strategy series. Uh, the other one being Crusader Kings two, and that's on the flash sale right now for eight bucks. Crusader Kings two or Europa Europa. Oh, Europa is like the daily sale, so it'll be there for another like okay. thirty six hours or something. Cool. Um, and then Crusader Kings is on up for eight hours. Crusader Kings 2 is really neat. It's more like it gives you kind of almost a role-playing aspect where you're playing a king mm. or a, a ruler. I shouldn't say king because you're not necessarily a king. You could be a vassal of a king. <laughs> you could go down to like the lowest level and play from there and, and do your empire, right? It's way awesome. And there are all these random events that happen, so you could like... I don't know. I mean, you could... <laughs> Your wife could leave you or kill you or something. You know, there's all these weird kind of funny intrigue things that happen. And then if you don't have any more errors, you basically that's when it ends. So your dynasty can last multiple generations as long as you have errors. So as soon as you are, as soon as you are in the game, you want to basically get married and have children that are basically could be heirs. And you can change <laughs> the rule to basically have female heirs. Okay. You pa yeah, but you have to pass the the the. I can't. What's it called? Progeny? I can't remember the progenitor. Law. I don't know if that. Yeah. Uh, so if women can actually be heirs and things like. It's pretty cool. It's, and then you have you know you can raise troops and you upgrade your your world your realm I guess and go fight and it's just awesome. Uh, cool. I also bought Talisman finally on on a Steam sale. Oh, was that on sale? Okay. And it was on sale. I don't think it is. Oh, you know it is right now. It's sixty three percent off. It's five dollars. Oh wow. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, that might be cheaper than the Talisman, iOS. Talisman, I think, is a polarizing game for people because it's basically just rolling dice a bunch. <laughs> but I always enjoy it. I, it was one of those games that I just loved back in the day, and I still I played it, put a couple hours in on Steam, and got a bunch of achievements already. So. <laughs> and just to note, Talisman is on sale on iTunes right now as well for four dollars. Oh, that's fifty. I haven't tried it on iTunes yet, but I yeah, I'm on my PC a lot more than I am on my iPhone. <laughs> um, I think it's pretty similar too. Yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't know uh, if it's been on sale yet, but Transistor. All the Lego games are also on sale. Oh wow! I, yeah, love I don't Lego. think Transistor's I love been on sale games. yet. Yeah. I I really want to play Transistor, but uh, can't do it yet. We'll be soon now. Yeah. Uh, um, Space Hulk is on sale. Space Hulk's a good one. Space Hulk is seventy five percent off. It's six dollars. Wow. And that's fantastic. Um, have the Steam sale. It's it's weird. Like the longer I've been through a lot of Steam sale. I've been on Steam for a lot of years. I own almost everything now. <laughs> it's kind of sad. It's like all these games that I will never play. I've been listening to these guys talk about like the psychology of Steam, where you oh yeah feel like you can't let the sale go by. You have to buy the game thinking you may <laughs> play it. Maybe deluding yourself that you're gonna play it someday. I guess maybe. <laughs> um, yeah, that seems like a real thing. <laughs> and I know what happens with me. Yeah, I was listening to Jeff Engelstein. He was on... Um, yeah, yeah, he was on the DLC. Yeah. Yeah, which uh, is an awesome show. Jeff Kanata, if you are listening. Probably not, but... Uh, <laughs> on the really off cool. chance. Yeah, it's cool that a video game slash board game podcast is out there. It's neat. Yeah, that's a pretty... I mean, that's pretty mainstream in terms of, you know... Five by five or whatever is very, yeah, very uh, out there. They were talking about their huge Steam libraries. <laughs> I have them beat. I have eight hundred. Oh gosh, you, you literally do own everything. Five games. On Steam. <laughs> do you own Goat Simulator? Because it no, is I'm not gonna buy Goat Simulator. Dollars. They look like no fun to me. <laughs> they look like fun for I like I, I had fun watching people play it, but I'm like I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah. Very silly. Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, it's yeah. I do like the Steam sale, but as time goes forward, you just have less and less um, time, I guess. Uh, well, 
you, you own everything. You start accumulating everything. So oh, right. Not as much um, available to buy. The thrill goes down with each... Yeah, the thrill goes down each time. They've got this weird game, metagame now, too, which I don't understand, where they have teams. Yeah. Like you, you get put on a, a team, and it, the, the numbers don't make any sense to me. Oh, I just messed myself up. <laughs> anyway, before I embarrass myself, maybe I should... No, finish this quit. out, and we can hang All out. Right. <laughs> I'm doing pretty uh, well. Another game I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to checking out is called Shovel Knight. Have you heard of Shovel Knight? Yeah, I've. I've it looks really cool. About it. Yeah, it looks awesome. I thought about getting it for the Wii U since just gotta. Oh, is it on stop, Wii U? Stop the dust from collecting there. Oh goodness. Well, did you get Mario Kart? I did. Yeah, we've actually been playing that a ton. Um, I, we haven't played in a week or so, but it's yeah. If you are looking for like a family game, or not necessarily family, but you know, like a, a very Casual kind of play it's together game. Kind of fun game, yeah. It is. It's really good. Um, and the on, the online things they've added are kind of fun. Uh, you can share a video. Uh, this is a game I will. I'm going to lose. Uh, you can share a video of of you playing and kind of. Uh, there there was this meme that showed up of Luigi who uh, kind of has a weird look in this <laughs> version of the game for some reason. Uh, he, like, gives a death stare when he drives past people. <laughs> oh, right. So, yeah, so that became a... Yeah, I wasn't a sure what that meme was related to, but I figured it was something like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have, like, five minutes left, guys. If you're listening, we have two more codes to give away for 6 Nymph. You just have to send us a question. We will answer Can it. Can you check the YouTube channel at all? Or... Uh, it's been a couple minutes. Let me check again. Yeah, give it, give it a go. We, won't leave it, but we want the questions at BoardGameGeek on Twitter, please. At Board Game Geek, one word. Yeah, because we need to up those followers. Let's see. Uh... Well, I, it's just one place for us to check the questions. I, I don't. <laughs> I couldn't true, get yeah. the followers. <laughs> it's nice though. I mean, we have twenty-two thousand. We just or twenty-one thousand. Just hit that uh, this week. I already talked about that though. Uh, okay. All right. This game is almost done. Uh, just kind of. Oh, you know the game, you know going back to the E3 th- talk that oh yeah that um what's the name of that game that you were saying? No Man's Sky is it the one? No Man's Sky. I'm really looking forward to Evolution. Oh yeah. That's the game where you become a monster or part of a team that tries to beat the monster. Yeah, that sounds really cool. Yeah, I cool. I kind of missed the whole uh, Left 4 Dead thing, which I regret. Oh, you didn't play any of that? No, it was kind of a. Uh, yeah, it was kind of a period of my life where I I was on a service mission for the kind of the years when that was popular. <laughs> so I kind well, of missed. It's still playable. I mean, you can still check it out. I'm sure. Yeah. People are playing it. But yeah, it's it was it would be more fun to go with your friends because people on that game are super serious now. <laughs> right. Like I I went on there and played a little bit. I got booted out because I wasn't playing well enough. Oh, you know, it's fun thing. when you play with friends. But yeah, yeah like... evolution is that kind of kind of thing. It's four v Four on one, right? It's one monster versus the team of four. I think I think it's four. Um, yeah, I think it's four. And everybody has a different ability, a different class. Um, and then there's variations of a class. So there's like, as I understand it, there's different types of healers. So if you're a healer, oh, okay. you you could be. I, I don't mean I don't know what the variations are. I haven't followed it that closely yet. But you don't have to just be a healer. You could be a healer with a with a twist, right? Like. So you could play mm-hmm. you could play healer, but you could be I mean I don't even know what it would be. Maybe with the different twists of the powers, right? So you don't always have to play the same exact thing. Right. Variations. Well, looks like I will oh, lose this you. one. Oh wait. Boom. Oh. <laughs> I got lucky there. Oh wow, last the last tile. Yeah, now, do the tile. monster do the monsters all come out? Can you guarantee, or is it random? Um, I think they continue to come out until all the paths to the oh. So oh, until no one can escape. Right. Okay. So they'll just keep going until no one. Now, can when you get something off the ta- off the table, does it permanently become a point? Yeah. Once you get to the temples, you're you're safe. It's like save. It's the save point. So then it's basically your your score is number of guys saved plus number of left on the board. Right. Okay. And you you're building up your score by trying to 
so it's kind of like a, a betting system. So for each guy you put down, you get three points. But if they get eaten, you lose two points. So it's like, I guess it's always a good bet for you. You're always going to get one point out of it at the very least. But basically, the more guys you have down, the more vulnerable, vulnerable uh, sorry, the more in danger you are of getting, uh, okay. you know, eaten. So. Okay. But then you have a higher chance of surviving and that kind of thing. So. All right, Brad. All right. Leave those two codes unclaimed. Okay. We have to do something about that. I don't think uh, we have enough audience <laughs> participation in this channel. How can we? To, uh, we're gonna have to figure out a way to make that make that a little. I'll have to, a little, uh, have to some a little ideas. Popular. <laughs> cool, but this is fun. I'm. I uh, thanks for showing these games. I'm definitely gonna yeah. six nymph. I I don't know if I'll I'll download, but I think I will definitely download this game. Yeah, I think it's worth checking out. I mean, you can try it for free. So. What is it again? Little damn town. Uh, damn little town. Damn little town. Damn. Oh, cool. So, what other options are there? Just to check it out real quick. Uh, just music. Oh, music you sound. Can turn off zooming if you don't want people to. And then it's just number of players. Well, so shoot, man, the free the free play was. The rules are pretty clear. Are pretty generous. Yeah, I mean, you can get a lot of play out of it. So. Yeah, I I don't see why anybody would not download this. Here's the credits. Luma Luma Rama. Yeah. I think the art's just really Inspired. sharp. Oh, Inspired by games by Klaus Jurgen Reed. Did you see that? Oh yeah. <laughs> Okay. Good well, call. Good call. call. <laughs> Powered by the Starling framework. I had not heard of that before. <laughs> what does the heart do? Let me click the heart. Oh, I think it's liking Twitter, Facebook. Oh, share it. Okay. Yeah, share that stuff. And then the I button. Oh, that's like, the credits we were just at. Oh, right. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, uh, hopefully I can jump in with you next week. Cool. Yeah, that should be fun. And I should be uh, much higher energy, so it will be great. <laughs> oh, you were great. Cool. You pulled it together. All right. <laughs> you had Great. to keep up all that concentration. <laughs> cool. All right. Cool. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Thanks for watching.